The temnospondyls are a group of fossil amphibians, which first appeared in the early Carboniferous and lived not only through the Permian extinction, but had some surviving until the early Cretaceous, a duration of more than 200 million years. At first, they inhabited a diversity of habitats from terrestrial environments to aquatic environments. After the Permian, the terrestrial forms became less common. Dendroeropitan and Cochleosaurus are among the earliest temnospondyls known from the Carboniferous period. By the Permian, temnospondyl amphibians had adapted to a large number of body shapes. Here, Fayella possessed long legs and was probably a more active runner than most amphibians. Melosaurus measured two to three meters, while Pranasuchus from the mid-Permian of Brazil measured nine meters and was probably the longest amphibian of all time. Peltobotrachus was covered in a dermal armor and measured uh, almost one uh, meter. Divinosaurus and Zygosaurus have greatly varied body plans and are also known from the Permian. After the end Permian extinction, a group of temnospondyls known as the mastosaurids uh, evolved and spread uh, throughout North America, Asia, Europe, and Australia, beginning in the early Triassic and are known through the Jurassic periods. Many measured two meters or more, Cyclodosaurus measured three to four meters, and Mastodonosaurus measured four to six meters in length. Coolisuchus was a temnospondyl amphibian known from the early Cretaceous of Australia, which measured four to five meters in length. It could probably weigh up to 500 kilograms. Since it is known from the early Cretaceous, it is the youngest a uh, temnospondyl known, which means that it survived later than any other known member of the group.